Okay, for this problem, um, or for any problem in 2.9, the, the kind of idea is word problems, maximization, and minimization. And um, whenever you do a word problem, you should always try to relate it to something you've done before, um, just to see if you can get an idea of how, to, how you might approach it. Um, and so for this problem, you, you see we're talking about a box, that we're going to build a box out of, out of cardboard. And the one in class didn't have a top, this one does. So it's, it's something re relevant um, and related. So let's see if we can figure it out. Um, so here we go. Our goal is to find the dimensions of the box will have the largest volume. So that keyword is um, maximize. So therefore volume, uh, we typically call it like volume equals length times width times height. So filling in here, we would maybe call this the length, this the width, and this the height. So where we did the box problem originally is we identified where these things fell in, in the picture because we know that we have 10 inches by 10 inches. So let's see if we can figure out how to make these things fit. Um, the front of the box is what we call length, and you can see that would be the dotted line here. So we know that's the length. Um, so therefore we know the length is equal to the full 10 inches of the box minus 2x. Um, and if you imagine folding the box up, when you fold the box up, the, let me get a different color here, the side here and here and here, those are, those are where it's going to go up because it's going to fold up along the dotted line. So that, that distance x is really your height of your box. So I'm personally not a huge fan of x. Um, so just so I can keep track of things, I'm going to say let x equal h. Um, so therefore, call that h. All right, so there, there we go. We got an equation for that side. So now, um, going along the other side, the width, we know that part's the width. So width is equal to 10 minus, again, um, you can see here you have another x. So it's going to be minus 2x's or aka 2h's. Um, but then we also have to take care of this distance going from here to there. And we have to say, what is that distance? So if you imagine folding the box over, that's the top. This part here is the side of the top, and it's going to line, it has to line up, you know, if I'll highlight it, that side right there is this side right there. Um, so when it folds over, it's got to be the same length as the width. So therefore, that would be the width right there. So the whole side would be the, the 10 inches to the side minus two x's or aka two h's and then minus another width. Um, so now we're super close. We're super close. I can kind of, I don't want width on both sides of the equation. So if I add a w to both sides, that'll give me two w equals 10 minus two h. So therefore w equals five minus h. So now I have two equations I can work with here. I've got w equals five minus h and I have length equals 10 minus h. And for volume, again, we know that volume equals length times width times height. So to get this, we don't want three variables in here. That would be horrible. We want to make as many substitutions as we can. And we know length is 10 minus 2h. We know width is 5 minus h. So therefore, that will give us a new volume equation of 10 minus 2h times 5 minus h. And again, we knew we knew h is h or x, same thing. Um, so there we go. So now we have a volume equation we can work from. And if our goal is to maximize volume, that's code word for, hey, let's take the derivative. Um, and it, now it's your choice how you might want to do this derivative. If you want to simplify first, um, if you want to FOIL or distribute or whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and FOIL a little bit. Um, so here we go. 10 times 5, that would be 50. Actually, I'm going to pause the video. I'll have it all FOILed out. So you're not watching me foil. OK, so I went ahead and, and distributed um, the binomials and then distributed my h and kind of rearranged it in descending order. So now I'm going to say the derivative of this seems like it wouldn't be too bad to do. So that's going to give me 6h squared minus 40h plus 50. Um, and so now whenever you're trying to maximize, the reason you take the derivative is you want to set that equal to zero. So I'm going to go ahead and set that equal to zero. And now we want to solve. And what might make our world life a little easier is if we recognize a number that goes into everything. And, we, and I see that two 
uh, is a good starting place. So that's going to give us what? 3h squared minus 20h plus 25. So now let's hope that this thing foils. And I will pause the video and um, come back. did factor out, so that's, that's welcome. So now what we're going to do is set each factor equal to 0, so we're going to get 3h minus 5 equals 0, and h minus 5 equals 0, so therefore we're going to get what? Add, add 5 divided by 3, so it's going to give me h equals 5 thirds, and then here I also get h equals 5. So we have two answers, um, and I believe they were this was 10 inch piece of paper, Yes, so since ever the units were inches, these would also be in inches. So I know my height. I have two options that will maximize my volume, either a height of 5 thirds um, or a height of 5 inches. Now, if we go back and think about it kind of logically, we'd say, wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. If the height is 5 inches, that means the cut would be 5 inches long, and then the other cut would be 5 inches long, meaning my whole piece of paper here I would be cutting in half. Um, so that one doesn't seem to make sense in the context, so that one gets tossed out. So we actually only have one answer, a height of 5 thirds inches. Um, so now, did we find what the, what the problem asked us for? It wants to find the dimensions that of the box that has the largest volume. And the dimensions, therefore, means we need length, width, and height. Right now, we just have the height. So what I can do is go back and get my width and my length just by subbing h in of those parts, which I will leave up to you, um, but that's how you do the problem. Hope it helps.